Welcome back everybody. Today we're taking a quick look on the B channel here at the Bulgarian four piece flash hider. Now, previously on the main channel, I did a test of the actual uh, copy, the American copy of it, uh, in terms of flash hiding capability. And without question, my test and many other testing has shown that it's exceptional in terms of flash hiding. But what was it designed for? Well, flash hiding, and then also to uh, boost the amount of gas that's going through the system when the weapon is dirty. So that's what it's designed for. It certainly does both of those things well. Uh, on a semi-auto rifle, I'm not sure how necessary it is, but when you start getting into full auto in a short-barreled rifle like this, uh, 104 is, it certainly seems, at least according to data I've seen, to help with that. Now, the difference between this one and the uh, US made one is a couple things. Number one, the US made one is not chrome wine. This one here is actually chrome wine, which certainly helps when we're shooting the corrosive ammo like we are today with some 7 and 6. So it helps prevent corrosion there. Um, and it's obviously four pieces, so you can actually break it down. We'll roll in some shots here so you can actually see how it's all sort of bound together. But it's a pretty innovative thing uh, in terms of when it came out. It works extremely well, like we talked about, but most importantly, it just looks cool as heck. Uh, we'll roll up some statistics here in terms of length, weight, uh, all that stuff, because it's a little bit heavy out there on the front, but really on a little crank like this, it doesn't quite matter too much. Um, it's relatively expensive as well for the actual Bulgarian one. It's sort of hard to find, and it comes in. I think Kvar is the only one that imports them, and when they do, it comes like sort of in waves, and then they sell right out. So for like a year, they'll be hard to find. Comes in, and the cycle repeats itself. Um, I've been looking on them for years. Obviously, I finally got one, so uh, and slapped it on here. And in this little SLR 104 uh, UR, it's kind of uh, the coolest configuration I think I've, I've had it in, and I think I'm going to keep it like this. We've used several different uh, muzzle devices on there. We used a, a Russian booster, the Manticore Night Break, uh, the Manticore Night Shroud, maybe? I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, this one just looks cool. It functions well. You have a little bit more of a recoil impulse due to that additional gas coming through, but in 5.45, I mean, it's... It's nominal. So uh, that's about it, guys. Just wanted to take a quick look at this little sucker here, let you know what it is, what it's designed for, and uh, how it works. But it certainly works extremely well.